What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and we are back with yet another unboxing haul. This is the stuff that's been accumulating over the last month or so. If you missed it on the channel, we just had some renovations going on in the studio, so a lot of things got backed up over the last month, and we went on vacation for a week, so just, uh, you know, unboxing what's come in, and we'll see, uh, what we've got for us today, I know what some things are, I don't know what other things are, so this will be a nice little fun unboxing for all of us, and to make it interesting, as I try to do for you guys with these unboxing videos, we got the main cam, we got the side cam, and we've got a little overhead guy right up here. So uh, let's hop in, this one obviously says novel keys right off the bat, there is no like, Where's the thing where you can open it? Usually, you know, there's like a th there's a slit, and then you can just like uh, open it from there. But this box is different. Why am I so confused by a box right now? Oh, forget everything. Uh, early morning, <laughs> kicking us off with the early morning. This one loads from the top. But what I'm saying was, usually this part's on the side. You can just cut it. Whatever. All right, so kicking us off with a box from Novel Keys. We have something excited. I put this one front and center for you guys because I'm sure um, you might be interested in this. So as you should know, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, Novel Keys and I, uh, we teamed up back in 2019 when we launched our first topographic uh, mouse pad. Huge success. They've been in and out of stock like crazy over the last four years now. And they finally relaunched it. We got a brand new uh, little tube for you guys, a nice little holder for you. And it is a new version. So the changes are to this new one, and same price and everything, it is a bit of a rougher texture for more control. And with that, it comes a bit more contrast to the design. So the ink and the lines are gonna pop a bit more. Very, very happy uh, to see these back in stock and you can kind of take a peek. Where is it, on this side? No, over on the bottom side, over here, yes. As you can see, we do have the Random Frank P logo hidden and cleverly uh, integrated into the top graphic line. So definitely wanted to unbox that first for you guys. I have a second one as well that we'll be uh, auctioning off for just a dollar on our next WhatNot stream. So I got one for me, one for you guys, and you can check out the Novel Keys uh, link for these mouse pads down below. As I always do, I will uh, hook you guys up in the description with all the links to everything as we roll right along with it. Let's see, what is this? So yeah, figured that would be a cool little way to reintroduce you guys into the ever so popular mouse pad launch that we had that is now back in stock and better than ever. Again, new improved texture and the uh, the actual design pops a bit more. All right, so I completely forgot about these. Next up, we have the Bayer Dynamic MMX 200. This is a wireless version. Was it the MMX 300 or 100? I don't remember which one it was, but I checked out the wired version of these. It was either last year or two years ago, and they just re-released a new improved wireless version with the MMX 200. Bayer Dynamic is a great, great audiophile company, so the fact they're getting into the headset game is obviously uh, good for everybody. Definitely pumped to check these out. Again, the MMX 200, I'll have to see what the differences are. Um, again, I know it's wireless, it has like, I believe active noise canceling and stuff still. Um, don't take my word for it, I don't know anything about it, I'm just unboxing it. I'm just trying to remember what the old versions have. I think it was the 100 and the 300, so I guess it would make sense that a year or two later, the 200 version would be launching. Now is about the time, it's like mid-October right now, so now is about the time where I'm starting to sort of scope out the future releases for um, like the best of the best of the year. And we do like our top five headsets, top five mice, top five keyboards of the year. So this will definitely be a candidate. I'm gonna test these out right after I'm done with this video and um, yeah, see how they are. 
All right, next up, let's just tackle the things in front of us. A few exciting things here. I did just stack them. I know what some of them are, like I was saying before. Uh, some promo stuff that it would just be easier to introduce to you guys in a mass unboxing video. This I'm very, very excited for, and I think you guys will be too. So these are gonna launch November 4th, I believe. And if you remember, our uh, Control T Keys Random Frank P Deep C Topographic Keycap Set. Again, a big collab that did very, very well. And once they were sold out, people were pretty bummed. We've got something super, super cool for you guys. Oh man, they, I didn't even know it was retail packaging. Okay, okay, guys. If you have the Novel Keys and Random Frank P mouse pad, if you have the Pulsar and Random Frank P X2 or X2 Mini, adding another custom topographic launch into the mix here. So from Contr Control T Keys, uh, this black version, I'm not gonna show off right now because I don't believe they are going to launch with this. I'm pretty sure these are just like an early prototype to see how they are. We have five sided printed keycaps on a completely clear keycap set. Let me just show you guys because this to my knowledge has not been done before. This is a brand new sort of release in the entire keyboard market that is something I've been looking forward to for so long. It's something I always wanted to do. Didn't know it was even possible until Control T keys pulled it off as I struggled to get this top piece of plastic off without the keycap shooting everywhere. All right. Yes, so check this out. As you can see, the topographic lines, they go across the whole set here and the keycaps are completely clear. Like I said, these are gonna launch uh, November 4th, I believe, for $60. If you use our coupon code RFP, you'll get $10 off, or it'll be 50 bucks. But super, super excited for these. I'm gonna film a promo with them, so I'm not gonna do much more. Just a little bit of a teaser for you guys. But yes, very, very happy. These are finally coming to market for you guys. Again, to my knowledge, the first clear keycap set with five-sided printing to them. Very, very unique, and if anyone's a fan out there of, you know, the topographic design and our previous releases and all the stuff that I've done in the, you know, just the custom community out there for keyboards, mice, and all that, uh, continuing the topo, topo design across everything. Again, be on the lookout for more on that. Next up, we got a vinyl. I completely forgot about this. This was, I believe, the, yeah, the 10-year anniversary of Skeleton, one of my favorite albums from Aesop Rock. Uh, he actually has a new album coming out in less than a month, I want to say, Integrated Tech Solutions. And I said Aesop Rock, not ASAP Rocky. Don't get it twisted. The amount of people who are like, how can you listen to that rap stuff? Like you're some old ass grandpa when uh, it's a completely different person. This I'm super psyched for. I, like I said, I completely forgot about it. The pre-orders were this for over the summer. And, uh, ooh, okay, okay. I don't want to mishandle it, but check that out. Nice and like a, a marbled white here. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is going to be a mix of a lot of stuff, guys. Lots of uh, just random tech in general, some keyboard stuff, some Pokemon stuff. I know you guys are also kind of iffy about that. Oh, we have how many vinyls do we have here? There's two here. And then I see more on the other sleeve. But uh, yeah. If you haven't listened to Aesop Rock, definitely check him out. He's like an OG. Here we go. Okay, same, pretty much the same thing. An OG in that underground hip hop sort of scene. Um, Super underappreciated, I feel. Back in the like late 90s, he sort of like pioneered that just underground rap style that I've been in love with ever since. Um, I don't know, let's just hop into some over here. But yeah, good stuff there. Definitely pumped for his new album. This, I believe, is something Pokemon related given the shape of this box. Um, I know like a lot of times now when you buy more expensive cards on eBay, they get it authenticated. So this definitely looks like one of those 
eBay authenticated boxes here because you guys know I've been all about the Pokemon scene, the vintage Pokemon scene, and yes. Ah, I also forgot, <laughs> forgot about this. So, okay, this is pretty cool. As you guys have seen from previous unboxing videos, and I believe in my last mass unboxing haul, we had some Pokemon stuff. This, I'm pretty sure, is the only Pokemon thing, so don't, don't get in a tizzy over it. I know it's not tech. Uh, this is a P- oh, I'm sorry, not a PSA. This is a Beckett. A Beckett 9, so a Mint 9 CD Promo Holographic Charizard. Now, why that's cool is because these are Japanese exclusives. These CD promos just launched in Japan in, I want to say, 1997. But what's really cool about this card is it has intense hollow bleed, which is kind of like an error. So when you have holographic cards, you know, like just the art itself is holographic, but in these hollow bleed error cards, the whole card is holographic. It's rare, it looks really, really dope. It's the result of like, I think insufficient white ink in the printing process when they're putting like a white opaque layer on the parts of the card that aren't holographic. So as a result, you can see hollow all throughout the entire card. I collect certain cards like this. I think it looks really, really cool just having hollow all throughout the whole card. It's definitely pretty cool. Uh, so pumped to get this in. I forgot what I paid for it. But again, these CD promo cards are super rare as it is. And uh, I love the art on Like it just, it looks like the uh, the Game Boy art. So really dig this one. And yeah, a nine grade. I'm gonna have to work on my, uh, again, I should have a floor cam. I always complain about how messy the floor gets when I do these videos. Uh, Cause I never can think of a efficient way to do it. Like where do I put the stuff when I'm done showing it off? How do I throw the boxes in a neat organized fashion on the floor to make the cleanup process cleaner? Oh, well. Moving right along, I'll put relevant links to anything, oh, by the way, that I'm showing off down below for you guys. And, um, yeah. Let's see. This, uh, what is this? Jack Mason. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is a, uh, I'm also been big into watches, as you guys know. And this I'm kind of looking forward to, kind of not. It's a nice watch for sure. Okay, it looks nicer in, per in person, which I'm super psyched about. Uh, here's the thing, I'll, my hands are so dirty right now. Here's the thing that I will say about this, you know what, I'll, I'll put it on right now as well. So, this is a nice, uh, I don't remember the actual model or name of it from Jack Mason, but a really nice, like, sort of, uh, dark navy with a nice tan leather, uh, band here. But here's my complaint, I didn't notice it until after it said it shipped, and that's just, a that's just my bad. But, Jack Mason, if you're watching right now, that slim, 0.5% chance you're watching this unboxing video. Um, they, they got some shady marketing techniques going on. So what I mean by that is, as I try to, hold on a second. There we go. Hold on. And this is an extra band that they include. So for their like, I don't know, I think it was like the kickoff of um, October maybe, or no, it was like a fall event. It was a fall event. They were advertising a limited 57% off of all their watches, or some watches, whatever. But the main watch it was advertising was, am I, I feel like I'm saying advertising wrong. Am I, am I, or am I just in my head right now because I haven't talked and done a video in like a week? I don't know. Uh, they were showing this watch, but one of the things you'll notice is on this watch, it has two white subdials and the bottom subdial for the seconds, I believe. What is that? Yeah. Uh, or one of the timers, perhaps. I really don't even know. Um, it's blue here, but on all of their advertising, this is where I get pissed off, across Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I went back after I noticed this and recorded it on all three because I got served this ad so many times. That watch they showed had three white uh, subdials. Advertise, 57% off. You click on it, it brings you to this watch, which was like half the price, the one that they were showing. And uh, it has the two subdials that are white instead of the three. It's really not a big deal. I just wish they would have, you know, honored the watch that they're showing is 57% off versus the one that they give you, which is a completely different model, in fact. So, uh, yeah, some shady advertising there. I do like the way it looks, though. I like the navy and tan. And, uh, inadvertently, it matches my shirt today. So, a uh, little bit of a rant. You guys are probably not even listening by now. You're probably all tuned out because of that. 
Whatever. Just, uh, things that, you know. And again, that's my fault for not, like, double-checking that, but, uh, it was a limited fall event thing. So I was like, oh, I gotta get this sale before it ends. It, it showed I had, like, two hours left, so I just quickly did the whole checkout thing. And then, uh, I noticed, like, hey, wait a second. I'm still getting ads for this, and it's a different watch than when I ordered. I should have, uh, double-checked that. Another watch! <laughs> uh, okay. This is from- this is a watch that I found a while ago and never really bought it until I wanted to do a blackout EDC video that I have in the works. And this is... it looks nicer online versus than it does right here in person. It's a topographic watch. It is from, uh, Super 11. It's like their Apollo lunar mission sort of launch. It looks pretty cool. I'll, I'll give them that. Uh, it's a very subtle sort of uh, topographic pattern inside the watch. Looks kind of cool. I, I don't know. I dig. I, I have so many different watches. It's uh, yeah, not really a hobby, but it's one of those things where like once I get fixated on something, I just buy whatever I like, whatever I see. So uh, this will be a cool watch for me. You know, I like the whole topo. I keep saying topo, the topographic or topo. It's weird because people say topo, but it's pronounced topographic. So even I get thrown into that little loop of uh, what the hell am I saying, you know? All right. This is, this is a hundred ounce silver bar, I'm pretty sure. That's for my dad. I'm just gonna put that over there. All right, next up, let's see what we have over here. Oh man, oh man, these unboxing videos, always fun in the thought of doing them, but then once I start and it's just like so much stuff at once that I mentally get overwhelmed and I'm like thinking 10 steps ahead of hope all my camera angles are synced up and everything looks good and hope the audio is okay because as I always say, this uh, this shot isn't set up for me. Ooh, been looking forward to this. Uh, this isn't really set up for me to do these unboxing videos. Okay, so this is from Archetype. Got a little hair in there, that's okay. Archetype is, hands down, my favorite artisan keycap company out there. The stuff they make is truly mind-blowing. And they had this one launch that I was, that I think I missed out on because that's just kind of the nature of these custom artisans. And I was like, I, I will do anything, I need that. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> what can I pay you? And they were just like, hey man, like we, we can't really do that right now because I think it was like maybe like a month past what it was already uh, Gone for so they hooked me up with a bunch of really cool stuff. They've been putting aside for me super super appreciative of that I have so many keyboard builds that I have to eventually get done. I know it's not like big on YouTube anymore The whole custom scene has really died down. This is a really dope looking mouse pad. A nice Kraken black teal coloring there. Definitely right up my alley. But yeah, their uh, their artisans are phenomenal. So let's check out what we got. They, they release them all the time too. All completely different ones. Very unique. So they sent me five and maybe six. Six different keycaps. Let's, let's see. I'm psyched for this. All right, artisan number one from Archetype. Oh, it's upside down. All right. Oh, there's two in here, and holy shit, I think, let's see, I'm gonna have to do, uh, do B-roll for these to show you guys, because they're very, you know, they're tiny, and uh, getting like a macro shot probably be better. I legit think this is the one that I was after. It might be a different version, like, because like, they make so many different iterations of them. This will go along perfectly with one keyboard build I have in mind. It's like, you know, the... The Kraken, the Octopus, whatever that like thing is called. I don't know if they have like a, an exact name for it. Um, I, I should have maybe done some research. Well, I didn't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so we have that one looks really dope. What is this red, this red one here? Uh, like a red samurai looking octopus, Kraken. I'll call them Kraken. I, I, I can't remember the name that they used for these launches. All right, so there's two in there. So I mean, there's two in each. Let's see. Yes, there are two in each. Oh man. All right, so we got this uh, Pepe looking <laughs> looking one as well. We have, uh, let's see. This one's like purple with like an orange resin, so we're like see-through here. I, I wish, like, 
I really wish I knew how to make these, but they're so intricate and I assume it takes so, so much time and resources that goes into this stuff to make them as cool as they look. Oh, this one's sick. This reminds you of like Halo. I, I will do my best to like link what these releases are. I don't even, I haven't seen these. Most, most of the ones that I've seen from them are like very resin and like sparkly in different colors, but I've never seen like really cool ones that look like these like cyberpunk biometric helmets and stuff on these. All right, we got, I think, I think this is a keycap, I'm not sure. Winding our way down, ooh, that's nice. Look at this guy. Ah, I like that one. <laughs> we have a, like a silver one as well. Man, they, they've really hooked me up. These, I, I believe, I'm gonna say go for like 50 to 60 bucks. Could be more, could be less. But uh, they really did not have to go all out with these artisan keycaps. Final box here. Oh, this one I think is my favorite. Look at that. It's like pearlescent. Is that the, is that the word I'm looking for? Wow. Changes. It's like a color shifting from purple to blue to green. How do they do it, man? Then we have like a skull face here. I really hope the overhead cam is picking all this up. Um, I'm using an iPhone up there, so hopefully it's all working. This is like a, a skull through, man, I don't know what these are, but they look so nice. Archetype, love you guys. I'm definitely gonna plug their shop like crazy because they, they deserve it. Let's see what this one is now. We still have something else down here, whatever this is. Oh shit! Oh, these, oh my God. So these are, uh, again, I don't remember the name of the launch. I remember seeing these on Instagram. Just check it out. Holy, these are gonna go on my keyboard right now. So you probably have the arrow keys and uh, let's see, like an option for the escape key or an artisan here. It's not quite topographic. It was the word I'm looking for, like Damascus. Is that the word I'm looking for, I believe? Man. I completely forgot about these. This is another one that I reached out to them about. And uh, super psyched to see that that's what these actually are. Like a, it's like a candy shop right now. And then we have the Kronos. This I saw them put up recently. I believe this is an artisan uh, tray. Not 100% sure. I don't really have too many artisans. I think I have about like seven, but now they hooked me up with a whole bunch and now I got a lot more. Let's see what this uh, Kronos is all about. All right, so uh, yeah, it is a, a display case pretty much for the keycaps, your artisan keycaps. Wow, metal, hefty, super well made. This is gonna find its way into my setup for sure. It's got feet to elevate it. We got some stickers. What do we got in here? Does it feel like, do we have a keycap in here? I don't know, let's open it up and find out. Is there a bonus keycap in the Kronos? It is called the Atlas Stand. Man, are we really like that far in already? I'm only unboxed a few things. Oh, these are just extra feet, okay. <laughs> these are extra pads and stuff. All right, I should probably move it along. My God, archetype. Big, big shout out to you guys. Love your stuff, always have, always will. Thank you so much for hooking me up with this massive, massive care package. Uh, <laughs> super, super unexpected, but very appreciative. Appreciative, appreciative, however I can talk today. All right, let's see, what are we gonna get in here? As you can see, I blanked out a lot of the labels, so you guys can't see the address. Drop. Okay, I actually, yeah, these are something that I purchased. These are, I believe that was their emerald keycap set. So it's funny how I've been saying for the last like year now that uh, the custom keyboard scene on YouTube isn't doing too well, so I probably won't do that many more builds. But so far, lots of custom keyboard stuff. Oh, that is so nice. Yes, I believe it's, this is either called emerald or jade. I believe it's emerald but a super nice green keycap set here with the white legends on them. This looks gorgeous. And I bought two yet again, because like I said before, a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna auction off for only a dollar over on our whatnot stream. 
So uh, I'll put the link for that down below. If you guys sign up, you get $15 off your first purchase. So you can get stuff for an absolute steal on whatnot. That is why I love it and you guys should too. This is the Jack Mason box. What is this? All right. Uh, but yeah, whatnot is where it's at. I believe the next stream is listed for November 10th, I want to say. So definitely stop by, check it out. We've had some really great streams in the past. Some really cool stuff. Oh, this is a low free keyboard. Okay, so this is a completely clear keyboard. This was what they sent me to show off the Control T keycaps with. So I'll put that over there. This is Iquinix, so I'll put that to the side. Let's get some of these small boxes. That's obviously a keyboard. But yeah, that low free keyboard is going to be just to highlight the all see through keycaps. So yeah, cool. What we got? Oh, the new Scuff Envision Pro. Yes. This will have launched by the time you guys see this. So this is Scoff's brand new PC controller. And you might say like, well, what makes a controller PC exclusive? Uh, to that, I would say good question, but this pretty much has all the advantages of their other scuff controllers with like the uh, the triggers on the back, the uh, the trigger stops, so many different reprogrammable paddles, but they have uh, these five macro sort of buttons on the bottom here that can be used for like launching programs, uh, adjusting your like headphone audio, I'm pretty sure. Again, I don't want to speak out of order because it's been a while since I was briefed on this. But I yeah, the new Scuff and Vision Pro, I'm sure by the time you guys see this, there's probably gonna be reviews out from other people already. This I'm definitely psyched to check out. Uh, but again, because of these uh, videos and the, uh, this, this is the construction over the last month, I am definitely behind as you can see on my, uh, my stuff. So yeah. Oh, the M75 Air from Corsair. This is Corsair's like first proper lightweight mouse. I'm pumped to check this out because they're like the one company who, you know, like when I was like growing up and getting into PC gaming, they always had like, in my opinion, like top of the line products. But I feel like over the last like three, four years, they've kind of fallen behind in the peripheral game. Their PC hardware stuff is still top notch, but the peripheral game, Felt like it's been kind of lacking. So I'm surprised that now in 2023, we get a proper smaller lightweight mouse. Feels good. I like the shape. How light we talking here? Uh, it says ultra lightweight, 60 grams for like a medium. Yeah, I'd say it's medium, not really small. A 60 gram medium ambi mouse. I guess not ambi, there's no side, but symmetrical. All right, Corsair. Definitely gonna check that out again. Things for uh, end of the year considerations. Uh, cool, cool. And again, by the time you see this stuff, most of this is probably already released. So I will uh, put links to the relevant stuff in the description down below. We have an open box or an open bag here. I guess the glue didn't work too well. This is the new Pulsar X2 V2 with their 4K dongle. Okay, Pulsar is pumping out mice like crazy recently. Um, they just had the X2H, which is like the, the version with the hump. I believe I have like five of these already. Not in white though. So this is probably their official retail release. Uh, as you guys know, I've done collabs with them. We do have another one in the works. Hush, hush. So, uh, I was hoping this was gonna be an early prototype of that, but no, it's just an official release. This, I have no idea what it is, because as you can see, the label has faded. Because most of these labels use like the uh, the heat printing process, so I can only assume this left out in the sun for a few days, or maybe like a few hours, and then the sun just completely bleached the label. So now, we have a mystery box. Let's see what we got. Man, I really should have done a floor cam so you guys can see just the... Oh! Alright, not what I was expecting. I didn't think this was the one I ordered. <laughs> the, uh, this is the English Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet 151. So I've, I've been big into their Japanese 151 set. 
Um, I forgot about the English one. They have so many different models or like boxes out there and I'm pretty sure that's what this big old new release box is because it says place in trading card area which is such a for a, like that's such a weird box to ship to me. Uh, so this is the English 151. The elite trainer box. Why I I do not remember ordering that or that model. So weird. <laughs> so I wonder what's in this one then. I don't know. I get, you know, I get impulse buy happy when I see things are coming out. Like I said, I've been collecting Pokemon like crazy recently, buying watches. So sometimes I forget some of the things that I get. Yeah, that makes sense, right? All right. We have a box from Steel Series. What do we have here from Steel Series? I know they just launched their um, their Alias and Alias Pro microphones. I don't think that's what this is because I already unboxed that separately from this video so I can get a jump start on that review. Ah, that is not what this is. This is the new all white Arctis Nova Pro wireless. I forgot. So this is for the uh, PS5, the Nova 7P in all white. We have a white steel series long sleeve shirt. What else we got? There's something else in here too. A PS5 controller. What's in the bottom? I didn't realize this. It's just an empty box. It's an empty box. Was the shirt supposed to be in here or is that just to prop this up? I don't know. Let's see what the, is this just like a regular PS5 controller or is it like a SteelSeries branded one with like a cool design or something? I don't know. Let's see, how are we looking on time? Almost a half hour already. Let's see, PS5 controller. I already have a bunch of these. So this could be another thing I can auction off for a dollar over on our whatnot streams. Uh, yeah, this is looking just like a regular old PS5 controller. So appreciated Steel Series, but uh, just showing off the uh, the headset itself would have been fine. But always like a nice gift box, something like this. Cool. Uh, but yeah, this will also be up for one dollar up for grabs over on our whatnot stream, November 10th. Again, sign up. Get uh, $15 off your first purchase. I believe it's $15. I haven't done the promo in uh, a little over a month now. I want to say it's $15 or is it $20? I think it's $15. Yeah, $15 off your first purchase. All right. Um, all right, down to our final three. Okay, I feel like we still have 10 more things left. Let's get this big old Pokemon box out of the way. Um, interested to see what this is because trying to they released a few different versions of the new 151 for english ah this is what i was thinking about yeah okay unfortunately i just used that knife and i put a little slit in this box so this is the ultra premium collection all right this is what i was thinking of i don't remember buying the snorlax elite trainer box but yeah so again i'll most likely keep these sealed it is a major bummer that I just uh, put a, a slice in this. Oh well. You got some uh, promo cards, a bunch of packs in here, uh, a play mat, a, the box. Yeah, cool. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Again, most of you probably don't care about that, so we can just move it right along. This is from Helheim. Um, another keyboard that I pre-ordered. This, if I remember correctly, is an all glass keyboard. I've heard some sound tests and uh, it sounds incredible typing on an all glass keyboard. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's what this is. We have a aluminum plate here. <laughs> this I believe was also ordered back when I had much more ambitions for custom keyboard content. We'll see what I do with a lot of this stuff. Uh, yes, so... All right, an all glass keyboard case. And I assume, like, the PCB and stuff is in here? Or do I have to... Let's see. Yeah, PCB and the aluminum plate. Okay, wasn't sure. Check that out. This is a frosted glass case. Wow. Like I said, I've, I've heard sound tests of like completed builds of this and it sounds phenomenal. So this could definitely be an interesting one to uh, build. 
Maybe even with those uh, Control T keys and random Frank P. Ice caps. I don't think I mentioned the name. They're called ice caps. They got kind of like a play on word, you know, like an ice cap. Except these are also, you know, see through like ice, ice cap. Haha, you get it. Okay. So the final thing here from Iquinix today. A lot more keyboard things this unboxing video than I expected. Let's see what we have from Iquinix. The final unboxing. What has Iquinix done this time with their custom? Ah, not a custom. This a pre-built. This I believe was called the Ardberg, if I remember correctly. Um, very very nice. I remember liking this because of the colors, obviously, with it being like a light olive in that like midnight green. Oh, always. Sounds so good. That's what I love about Iquinix. Like every single keyboard I've ever gotten for them, they just sound more professionally tuned than you could ever hope for. And this is. Wow. Love the color scheme here. Um, let's see, what kind of keycaps or keys do we even have in here? I don't even know what they are. They're like a milky white box stem. Uh, I wonder if it tells me in here. My god, the Ardberg, man, Iquinix, always, always killing it. Um, there's also a thing over here, I don't know what they are. I'll probably, again, like I said, if this is even, this should be out. Uh, maybe it's a pre-order, I will put a link down below so you guys can check it out, find out more about it. We have the feet in here, and uh, the cable and an extra keycap. No info on what these switches are, but man. Sounds good, feels good, and I love the color theme here. And it's wireless, I just noticed here on the bottom. It can either be wired over USB-C, or you have the wireless button. Nice smooth edges here. Iquinix, always, always killing it. So we're about just over a half hour, some Pokemon stuff, some tech in general, lots of keyboard stuff, two watches. Two brand new releases for you guys with the new Random Frank P and Novel Keys Topographic Mouse Pad re-release. Definitely hop on that. I want to say it was like 25 bucks. So uh, still honoring that same price point. And the upcoming Control T Keys and Random Frank P Ice Caps keycap with a five-sided printing to the all clear keycap set. Looks very, very nice. And uh, how you guys doing? You hanging in there? We still, we still alive at this point? It's, it's tough to keep in people's retention for close to a 40 minute unboxing video. So if you're watching, shout out to you. That's a, that's a true fan right there. I really have to get back into the content side of things. It's been a very, very hectic last like two months. Like I said, if you missed it on the channel, uh, we just had some renovations going on. So I did a whole vlog on that. We redid the other side of the house downstairs in the studio, which isn't ever seen because it's a storage area. We got that all redone. The old laundry room, which was a storage room, and that wall that boxed out the bathroom in that whole area. We demoed that, finished that whole area. It's blank right now. I'm eventually gonna build it up. We had a whole mold issue behind those fake brick panels that I had over here. So we had to take those panels down, get a company to come out and do all the stuff with the mold. I did something new at that spot. It's been a lot. It's been a hectic, hectic month. So that explains the lack of content really since the start of September, really. So I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. If you're still here, drop some hearts down below and tell me what your favorite uh, thing that we unboxed today was. And uh, yeah, I promise you, I'll be getting back to the content very, very soon. And like I said, uh, check out uh, the links down below. I'll put the relevant links down there for you guys, as well as the whatnot link. We can get a lot of the stuff that I showed off today that I bought starting at just a dollar with my link. You get $15 off as well. So that's about it for the rambling. Alrighty, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.